All right, hey guys, what's up? I'm here at Central Rock Gym, Worcester. This is the very first Central Rock Gym that we've ever made. It's super exciting to be in the home, the original. And I am here with two amazing route setters, Keith and Rachel. They're gonna help me out and we're gonna do a climbing session today. They're gonna coach me and they're gonna coach you. We're also gonna go over how to warm up properly. Let's get started. Definitely try not to try too hard on the warm up climbs. It's good to just like get your muscles moving and flowing. So sometimes it can be jumping jacks or like arm circles. Start off on easy, easy climbs with very big, comfortable holds. Really focusing on quiet footwork. Precisely and quietly as opposed to just like mashing them onto the wall. This was the very first wall I ever climbed on. Ever at all? At all. So that's some good memories. That's gonna vary from person to person. Err on the side of too much warm up as opposed to too little. You watch your left foot hit the hold every time, but your right foot about 70% of the time. Keith also noticed something really interesting. On my left foot, apparently I was looking the whole time, but on my right foot, I was removing my gaze from it right before. If you aren't looking at your feet, your feet can slip off of the hold. Put your foot down and watch your, your body weight go onto that hold. Maybe you got a little tired once it got a little overhung and you stopped pressing your feet. You can be more deliberate when you're placing your feet and just try to like stay calm when you're feeling a little pumped. It'll actually make the climbing a lot easier. I would say the best way to proceed is to ask yourself what your goals are for climbing. Like do you want to get stronger or do you want to progress through the grades? I want my technique to get a lot better. The thing is I know that I'm muscling through a lot of moves. Okay, so then we'll throw you on a little bit harder stuff on slabbier terrain where your muscles won't go quite as far and you're gonna have to focus more on your footwork. So with this blue climb, like you're really gonna wanna, you're not gonna be able to muscle through it. You're gonna wanna stand up on your feet. So like on these big holds up here, you can stand on all of those to get a rest. You can tell us if a hold is a handle oh, or a right. hold, but you see a little bit of chop down. Okay, so we're gonna really trust your feet. There you go. I have no idea. <laughs> so like when I sequence a climb, in addition to speaking about my hands, I think about where I'm going to place my feet. And that helps you kind of establish like what the flow of the climb will be like. So like how your body should be positioned to move through the climb more effectively. I just get nervous on this. On the very small footholds, mm -hmm. I just get really nervous that my foot's gonna pop off. Like I over grip and then I'm like pinching yeah. here. Chicken winging? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's one of those things that just comes with time, is like learning like where to put your feet on the hold. Rachel just said that this climb is really good for what? Climbing with straight arms. Good job today. You maintained straight arms throughout the entire climb. You could tell you were tired, but you still focused on keeping straight arms and focused on technique over just like getting it done. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the biggest thing just to like think about in your next few climbing sessions is how to transfer your weight from one foot to the next. Mm -hmm. um, and really that just has to do with stepping up on your tiptoes. Um, and just like shifting your weight um, from side to side. So these are the route setters, as well as Rob over here. <laughs> He's rolling out his forearm. Scott's over there. All right, well thanks so much guys. And I'll catch you later. Hey everyone, this week's giveaway is a free guest pass. It doesn't count against your regular monthly membership guest pass. You can use it on Friday, June 15th. You just have to come into the gym and show that you're a subscriber to the vlog. I forgot to mention that one, one thing to do for training your feet 
um, is to do flagging and no flagging. So you would pick a route about two grades below your project level. Flagging is when so my foot, notice how it's like pointed against the wall as if I'm standing on something. No flagging obviously is just climbing as you would normally. So that's a good way to learn body positioning and how to um, balance your way through the climb. For this climb, I'm going to flag like crazy. Is that what you're telling me yeah, to do? Basically, on like every move that's possible to flag on, you would flag on. 